What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new video editing software in case you guys haven't heard of this video editing uh, program. And uh, I would really highly suggest you guys check this program out just to see if you guys like it or not. Maybe you don't, maybe you will. Uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, for you guys to check out. But um, if you guys don't know what PowerDirector is, this is the program we're going to be using in today's tutorial. So uh, PowerDirector is a uh, selected as the best editor's choice by PC Magazine for seven years. So that's pretty cool. I mean, not a lot of video editing softwares get on the PC Magazine for that long amount of time. You know, who's going to be using this video editing software? Well, in my opinion, I think it will be great for uh, traveling, sports, maybe you're into sports, maybe you film GoPro videos or you skiing or you know you guys doing whatever this video is just for you so whether it be family even weddings this is a perfect uh, video editing software for you um, it has a clean and a simple uh, interface it's not you know confusing like Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas they also have a 360 degree video editing they even have some unique and various design tools and templates so you guys can use so you guys don't have to create them and they have a leading edge formats and performance so it's not gonna lag or it's not gonna be slow power director is a consumer level video editing software compared to Final Cut Pro 10 where that's more of a pro consumer kind of software they want you to be able to you know man manage your way around and get around things quick and easy for you to understand and uh, I will be giving away two free copies of this program so all you have to do is just subscribe to my youtube channel like and comment down below or you guys can just like and comment down below uh, this video that would be good too but uh, let me go ahead and get started with the video so when you first start you guys are going to be presented with this nice little layout. It's pretty clean and simple to use, pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into depth with everything because that's just going to take a lot of time. So on the top left, we have the media room, which is where all of your clips and all of your audio will be. And to add video clips, it's very simple. Just right click and click on import media files. You guys can even import from a media folder or a media folder. And you guys can import some from Flickr as well and uh, so that's pretty cool you guys can of course create libraries just like Final Cut Pro 10 on the top right here we have different options of course we have the capture which will allow you to capture certain devices that are connected to your PC or Mac so over here we have the capture from a DV camcorder so if you have a camcorder that is hooked up to your computer you guys can use that to record which is pretty cool now you guys can of course record your voice and you guys can capture your screen which is pretty cool I think this is a pretty cool thing let me show you guys some tools over here. So the effect room is where you're going to find all the effects. So they have quite a bit of effects here. They have some uh, 3D ones that you guys can apply to your clips. So on the left, of course, we have the, the uh, pip objects room. So this is where you guys are going to be able to find objects for it. So you have different ones. We have sport. This one's pretty cool. Uh, so all you got to do is just click and drag this into its own separate track. So they have different tracks for different stuff depending on what you guys add. So the next one we have is the particle room and the particle the particle room is where they have different particles so you can add it onto your video and you guys can kind of make it look a little bit different like if it was snowing or something like that. The next one we have is the text or the title room. This is where you're going to be finding all of your text and titles to add onto your videos into a separate uh, track. So we have the default one, we have the default 3D and of course you guys can customize these. Uh, so the next one we have is the transition room so the transition room they have a whole bunch of transitions that you guys can use so like if I were to add maybe this one and I drag that uh, in between the clips that you want to add you guys can of course change the length of the transition but if we push play this is what we have so that's pretty cool it kind of looks like the luma fade tutorial that I showed you guys before so that is actually really cool I like this transition a lot the next one we have is the audio kind of like mixing room right here so you guys can control the audio for certain tracks. The next one we have of course is the the uh, recording room. So if you want the audio to fade in or fade out you guys can use that uh, feature there. Now over here you can select an audio device so if you have sep uh, separate audio devices hooked up you guys can use uh, that feature there. Uh, the next uh, room we have is the chapter room so if you guys are creating a film or a movie and you guys want to import chapter settings or chapters 
you guys can use this feature to add uh, chapters kind of like markers in your video timeline. The next one we have is the subtitle room. The subtitle room is where you add your subtitles, of course. If you already have it written into a Word document, you can just import it into here. So if you want to edit a clip and you click on it, we have different options right here, kind of like in Final Cut Pro 10, but a little bit more simplified. So right here is the magic tools. So if you click on this, you guys can, of course, it will automatically, they call it the magic, but you can automatically fix cut or style the video now the next feature here is the tools so we have power tools motion tracker action camera center blending effect if we go to the, the uh, power tools we have video in reverse so if you want to play the video in reverse you have this feature there which is pretty cool so now if we push play the video will play in reverse and flip the video which is kind of cool you could, you could, of course, go more into the other tools, motion tracker, you can track motion in it. This will go ahead and track this little tree here, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie and click on stop so it doesn't go all the way because <laughs> it disappears quickly. This will go and move the text so like up here, maybe, and we click on play. It will go ahead and follow that tree, which is pretty nice. This is a feature that fi not even Final Cut Pro 10 has. So props to them for making a motion tracking feature. This is something that I really wanted to be implemented into Final Cut Pro 10. The next one we have is the keyframe tool or the keyframe button. The keyframe is pretty much self-explanatory. You guys can zoom in or zoom out by clicking on this. If you, if you guys didn't know that, you guys can zoom out and zoom in uh, and right here as well. But uh, what you guys can do is we can go to fix and enhance. So you guys can get really, really creative with this and add your own keyframes. And over here, you guys can, of course, play, stop, go a frame to the left, go a frame forward, fast forward the clip. You guys can take a snapshot of the video, so like a picture of it. You guys can adjust the volume here. This is the settings, by the way, the preferences. So this is where you change the timeline, frame rate, and all that stuff. Uh, we can do capture, confirmation, all that stuff. It's just the settings. Now, when you're ready to export, you go to produce. And here, you can, of course, produce uh, different videos. So you guys can do a standard 2D, 3D device, and online. Uh, in this case, it's a H.264 or AVC. And then here, you can choose different ones. MP4 for standard video. The profile is default. The profile name. You guys have a whole bunch of different quality presets that you guys can select or you guys can create a new profile if you want we have the country or video format for the disc in this case I'm just gonna keep it at United States NTSC or PAL if you live in the UK and you can do fast video uh, rendering technology which will render your video faster or export it and when you're ready just click on the start uh, and this is where the fold where you want it to be saved so if I want it to be saved to my desktop just click save and click start so if you found this video helpful in any way please leave a like that'll be much appreciated be sure to check out the download for this program link will be in the description at the very top and uh, yeah I will catch you guys on my next video until then peace out take care and enjoy your day